Our wonderful neighbors had this old playhouse they were getting rid of, so we jumped at the opportunity to snatch it up for our next DIY chicken coop. Finally got the floor tore up for the future chicken coop. Got the roof off. See if we could find any more rot. It actually doesn't look too bad. I left that panel on on this side until I replaced this one. Get make sure it has, still has some rigidity. It's really that panel is the only thing really holding these together. Just a simple little structure. I'm gonna put some cross beams in here. Make it a little stronger for the new flooring. old flooring that came out and some of the old tar shingles. Well I'm not a professional. I I know about enough to get by. It's really the only thing that matters. <laughs> anyway, there it is so far. chicken coop to its new spot by the live oak. We're getting ready to lift her up so I can start. We're gonna put the coop on these cinder blocks with two feet cedar post. Then I'm gonna start working on the roof after I finish taping all of the edges up for the, the zip board. And then I believe we're going to start working on cutting the chicken door out for the chicken run. And we'll go from there, but this is it. This is the new area. Eventually, <clears throat> excuse me, this will all be cleared out. And I will replant. There's a road right there. I'll replant along the road the live oaks that we found on the property. We got time on our side. We're in a state of home.
37 of building the rabbit coop. Just kidding. A couple days. Of course, in the previous video, she mentioned this is all going to be repainted. Who is that? My helper. <clears throat> so. So far, this is what we've got. Um, we're gonna do a tin roof instead of the clear plastic we decided. It was a little cheaper, went a little further. Then we're gonna put the uh, half inch mesh across for the wire, the hardware cloth. So, but now I'm gonna have to unattach this portion from that so we can flip it over and paint the bottom of those to keep them from rotting because they're going to be exposed to the moisture on the ground. So I'll be getting to that now.
likes to think he's home. Come in. finished so far. Jason finished installing the tin roof. We did, uh, we're short one more piece, so we're gonna have to go get that today. Yeah, uh, let's see, what else do we have? Um, I still have to make and cut out the trim pieces up there to match the pump house, because why wouldn't I? I like to make my life harder. <laughs> And mine. <laughs> you love it. Okay. <laughs> we. <laughs> Do I love it? Yes, you love it. Okay, I love it. <laughs> I'm still waiting on the paint for the door. For some reason, all of the box stores are out of tester paints. I'm not sure why they can't just mix it, but they said they're out. So we're waiting on that. And today, I'm not sure if I said it, but we are gonna go ahead and bury the cloth, the hardware cloth under the ground, so that's not an issue. And the only thing that'll be left is the roof peak. I'm not sure when we are gonna be able to finish that. Let's see. We're gonna do a solid cedar piece all the way across. And the problem is, our lumber yard doesn't have it. The big box chains don't have it. They're completely out. 
So we're, we're taking our time developing this property so it's completely done right and we don't regret anything, even though it's taking forever. But that's how it goes, right? That's how it goes. Everything goes that way. <laughs> but anyway, just keep watching and you'll see our progress. Or you'll see us take a lunch break. Yes. Because I'm... <laughs>